Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the week of August 15th. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to get some general messages for all signs. So um, take what resonates, obviously leave the rest. Timestamps will be down below. I know this is out a little bit later than usual. Usually I post these on Sunday. It's now Monday. Um, but I had a busy weekend and I'm kind of getting over like a allergies or something like that so if my voice seems a little weird just just go with it <laughs> um i've got some water here so i might have to kind of take take a sip of that every once in a while but um yeah let's kind of see what is going on we're going to start with aries we're going to go all the way to pisces time stamps like i said will be down below <clears throat> and then um yeah let's see let's see where we go so we're going to start with uh, Aries here. So let's see, Aries, <clears throat> what do you guys need to know for the week ahead? We have movement into balance. All right. So what is this about? <clears throat> it's number one. We have the Four of Wands, Three of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have, yeah, there's that Magician energy. I was kind of getting the Magician off of that movement into balance. It feels like maybe you're taking some sort of action here. Um, <clears throat> maybe something's been on pause or been on delay. We have the Hanged Man behind that, Five of Cups. like. Something maybe has been on pause or delay here, Aries, and I feel like it's almost like your ships are coming in with this Three of Wands and the Four of Wands. Now, for some of you, you're kind of like getting on better terms with someone as well, I see. This could be someone who you're maybe in a relationship with, could also just be like a family member, um, potentially like a mother for some of you, obviously with that Queen of Cups, but it's almost like moving something back into balance, back into harmony, whether that's like you in a relationship or whether that's like just even you and yourself like some of you could be maybe if you've been struggling with like emotions or something like that or like um, you've felt emotional the last like little while then perhaps some of you could also be kind of like closing your cup a little bit or just kind of like tapping more into like the masculine energy of like wanting to take action uh towards something specific or like making your your dreams are reality or your goals are reality okay there's this sense of like I don't want to say trying to fix something because it doesn't feel like you're fixing anything it just feels like you're just bringing something into a place of harmony and it'll bring a sense of fulfillment emotionally and also happiness like I feel like there's a sense of like achievement almost with it or at least you trying to like gain a sense of achievement <clears throat> in whatever this is but I, I feel like you're actually taking action towards it. You're not waiting. I feel like maybe you've been waiting for it, but you're you're no longer waiting anymore or like something's going to kind of like come into fruition is what it feels like. So there's a change. It might be subtle though. And if anything, it's like if there's a change, I feel like you're, you're in control of it. Like this is like something that you have um, the ability to like, I almost said manage, but it's like, yeah, you're just kind of like in control basically is kind of what we're getting. So it's not anything that's going to like throw you or like be some major thing that you have to deal with. I just feel like it naturally kind of falls into place because you're in your place, you're in your power and you're in a place where you want something to improve or to get better in some way, shape or form. So it's pretty much what I got for you. Aries kind of short and sweet. All right, let's move on here. So we are going to move on to Taurus. So what does Taurus need to know for the week of the 15th? We have Joy, number 42, breaks down to a six. So there could be like some happiness, something joyful that maybe happens for you where you're just like feeling like you're in a good mood. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, 
the Nine of Wands. I feel like you're almost finishing something up this week. We have the Fool, yeah, like you're getting close to the end of something. Could be something that you've been working on. Um, something you've been putting like time and energy into. Lots of time and energy detail into. And you've been like pushing and persevering and like not giving up on this with this Nine of Wands. It feels like it could be something work or project related, but it's almost like, <laughs> I feel like you're finishing it this week because we have the fool at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, you're gonna be really happy to complete something, to let something go, to just like move on. Um, it kind of feels like it's been something that's been like looming over top of you. It could be something financially related too. Like if you've been trying to figure something out financially or even trying to like get your money, like maybe back on track or something to do with that it's like you're gonna feel finally like you've made progress or you're making progress and you're able to kind of like move on from um the path kind of you've been going down some of you this is just like your busyness though like your schedule um your day-to-day -day routine has maybe been really busy or chaotic and I feel like you're that's kind of like coming to a close is what it feels like so I'm not sure if you're like, again, like finishing up a project or maybe just like your workload or your schedule or something, or maybe you're going to be going on holidays or something. Like some of you could be traveling with this fool and this three of wands, but there's like better days ahead or happier days or just like more enjoyment with like where you're going. Um, it feels kind of small, like minor. Like I just feel like it's like, again, it's just like your plate your plate is being cleaned a little bit like there's not so much burden that you're going to be carrying so this could be a week of like finishing up projects and then you're going to feel so happy when like the end of the week comes or like the weekend or something or maybe again like you're going on holidays so you have to get a bunch of stuff done and then you can have your week off and you're gonna feel happy about it it's kind of that type of energy so whether that's a project or just life <laughs> um there's something that's freeing you from this burdensome work and, and whatever you've been investing your energy into. So I feel like if you feel kind of bogged down or just kind of burdened by things, it's like things are going to be kind of liberated here in a, in a new way. Um, there also could be something new. Like if you feel like you're just kind of doing like the same thing every day and like nothing's really changing, I feel like there could be something new coming towards you or like something that brings you a sense of joy okay um if you've been like trying to just like hang on because <laughs> you know something's coming as well okay but it also for some of you with this fool it might require a bit of a take a bit of a risk to, to move towards it but I do see you being kind of busy and if that's the case I feel like that energy is going to free up for you but that is pretty much what I got for you, Taurus, this week. Hopefully that resonates. We are going to move on. I am sitting on the floor, so the shuffling is not... I gotta sometimes do it in my lap. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? For the week we have transformation number 22 so master number so some changes perhaps let's see <clears throat> what does Gemini need to know for the week please we have page of cups ace of pentacles and the nine of cups Bottom of the deck, we have communication with the Eight of Wands. So yeah, I feel like there's, um, you're either moving towards something new, like you already, like, this is you initiating it, or it's someone offering you something that brings a sense of wish fulfillment. It's like a, I think this is a, a happy transformation, a happy change. But it will require you, I feel like, with this Eight of Wands here to take action, okay? Um, 
this could be a person, a relationship, this could be a job, this could be anything. But it's something that you've been hoping and wishing for with the Nine of Cups, like it's something that you've wanted to happen. Like again, this feels like a really positive change, a positive transition. Um, and it feels like maybe it's happening really fast with that Eight of Wands. I don't feel like this is, um, yeah, it's interesting with this transformation. It's like, I feel like you're gonna be coming out of this cocoon. I was like, what is this? But I'm pretty sure it's a caterpillar. Um, so I feel like there's like this, you're gonna be blossoming into like this butterfly, you know? Like there's kind of this expansion that's happening in your life rather than it being like an ending aspect of the transformation. A lot of you have probably already gone through the ending. And now it's about moving forward and stepping into this this place that I feel like you really want to go. This could be like a, um, a dream or a goal or like something that you've kind of, um, I don't want to say thought about it a lot, but like maybe fantasized a lot about with the Page of Cups. This is like Piscean energy. So this is very much like that dreamy, dreamy type of energy. So is the Nine of Cups, like very dreamy, right? So... There could be this sense of like this goal that you've had that you've been dreaming about and like now's the time to take action I feel or something's gonna pick up or like allow you to expand it in some way like I don't know you might have a conversation with someone and that really helps you kickstart something so it feels like something's kind of like opening up here that you've been wanting to open up so I feel like this is the week to <clears throat> take action if it feels right take action on something that you've been wanting to take action on because it kind of feels like you've been maybe this has like been an idea in the background for a while or like this is something that you've um sat on for a little while because it's like the waiting for the right time or waiting for like something to kind of shift so that you can take that action and I feel like this week there might be something specific that goes on that helps you kind of move into that so I like that because I feel like it's like it's a positive, it's a positive influence, like a positive change that allows you to, <clears throat> to move forward. So I like it, Gemini. It looks good. It looks, it looks positive. It's definitely the beginning of thing, something. So I don't think there might not be like a whole lot of clarity. It might just be more of like a, yeah, let's go for something and see what happens. Or we're going to slowly build upon it as we go. It's more of like an inspired, exciting type of, um, movement and progress but nonetheless I think it's helping you move in a direction to create something stable here it's like something that you feel has potential so a good change is happening this week for you Gemini I feel at least the energy is there to do it but that is what I have for you Gemini we're gonna move on here to cancer let's see what cancer needs to know for the week of the 15th we have retreat number 40 this reminded me of like the four of swords so some of you could just be like taking some time to rest relax hang out ground yourself like stabilize yourself <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> the four of swords the amount of times that that happens where like a card, a, an oracle card might remind me of like a tarot card with like energy that, and then like it literally will always come out. It's so crazy. Yeah, seven of pentacles, seven of swords. Yeah, so this, and even the seven of swords can talk about a retreating and pulling back your energy, right? We have the ace of pentacles. I feel like you guys are kind of uh, reevaluating something here. Could be around something new or wanting to start something new, like, looking at the potential of something sorry if you can hear noises it's my dog running around up there um there's like a reevaluation of priorities potentially or where you're investing your time and your energy there could be a change in like i don't want to say your routine for some of you um seven of swords is like a, a pulling back or strategizing um it's like trying to figure out how to how to move forward there's a sneakiness to Seven of Swords, but it's because there's this pulling back, this detached energy, and kind of a little bit of this like selfish energy, which isn't always a bad thing with the Seven of Swords, right? Like sometimes we need to pull our energy back <clears throat> and keep things to ourselves 
So I just feel like, I feel like, especially with this retreat, it's like you're keeping to yourself, maybe not involving other people, mo investing more into your energy r rather than investing into other people's energy. So you might be a little bit more reserved this week. Um, some of you could be definitely trying to create a plan or strategize how you're going to take action on something, but it's like you're not taking action. I feel like you're collecting all the information or all the anything you need this week um, to kind of gain almost like a sense of clarity. Some of you as well with the Seven of Swords, like you're retreating because you're trying to gain your own sense of clarity and not be distracted by what everyone else has to say. Okay. So I do see you kind of like pulling back and trying to keep to yourself and trying to make sense of something or trying to strategize or gain a sense of clarity when it comes to maybe just something you're trying to start here. Yeah, we have an ending here, Ten of Swords, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So it's like <clears throat> maybe something's happened in your life that you have to kind of like pull back, go back to the drawing board, reevaluate, be like, okay, where, now what? Now where do I go? So there's like a, a self-reflection, but it's more of like a, it feels more of like a strategy, like a logical, practical strategi strategization, strategization, is that a word? Um, of like how to move forward, but I don't really feel like this week you're taking action. I feel like it's more of you like thinking of things and like trying to make sense of things. So that is what I have for you, Cancer. Hopefully that kind of made sense. I know these are short and sweet, but sometimes those are the best messages, short and sweet. See what the energy's like. This is just a weekly reading. But let's see, we're gonna move on. So let's see what Leo needs to know. Happy birthday to my Leos, our last week of Leo season, which is crazy. I feel like it like flew by. What does Leo need to know for the week? We have discernment, number six. So you might have to use your discernment. Um, I'm hearing be wise. What's going on for Leo this week? Week of the 15th. We have the Three of Cups. We have the King of Swords. And we have the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, be wise, King of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> So some of you have to be um, discerning around people this week. Um, yeah, it could be like relationship wise. Some of you, this could be like, I don't know, third party stuff or just like, you know, casual. I want to say like casual relationships, like discerning whether that's something you want to go into or maybe a dating someone getting it feels like very um it feels like young energy and I don't the knights are like kind of like the teenagers of the tarot I almost feel like you're trying to achieve something different than something or someone in your life like they're coming in as a knight you're a king so you're kind of on <clears throat> you're kind of on this energy of like do I really want this or should I just like leave this behind with this five of pentacles I think you're, again, there's like a sense of being logical or practical and using your discernment to kind of figure out whether this is something you should participate in or if this is just something that's going to get you hurt. Yeah, I feel like there's been a little bit of like, kind of like, I don't know, if selfish energy maybe with people and that's like discerning who's meant to be with you with this with this high priestess it's like maybe someone's maybe kept things from you but it's also just kind of this energy of like discerning knowing using your intuition and your logic and knowing um who's whose time and energy you're meant to give to and who you're not meant to with this five of pentacles so there's kind of this feeling like like who's going in the direction that you're wanting to go in and who's not and trust yourself and what you know or what you can feel. 
because I feel like you're looking for people who are on the same page as you, not people who are just coming in for their own benefit and then just leave when it, you know, fits them and what they need. You know what I mean? So there's kind of this energy of like <clears throat> needing to be discerning around who you're with, who you're socializing with, who you're connecting with, whether that's romantic, friendships, whatever. It's like who's on the same page as me and who's not. Who have you maybe, and this sounds bad, but like who have you maybe outgrown, right? Not that they're not growing, but maybe you're just on a different page, right? And it doesn't mean you won't ever be on the same page. It just means like right now you're just not on the same page. Because I feel like with this King of Swords, it's almost like there's like serious business that needs to be done. And I don't know if that's just like you and your life. Like, I'm trying to get shit done. I'm trying to like evolve and progress and, you know, grow, grow a business or grow, just like, just evolve, right? Want, want, wanting more mature relationships, wanting to do more mature things in your life. Like there's a sense of like maturity that you're trying to step into no matter what your age but it's like, it's like you might be around people that are just like aren't growing up or don't really care to grow up or just like aren't there yet. Maybe they want to go out and party all the time and you're like, no, I got shit I got to do. I got to start acting like an adult. It's like that whole thing of like adulting, you know? <laughs> um, so I just feel like it's like being wise with like who you're spending your time and your energy with and if that's really serving you is what I'm getting here, Leo. So that's what I got for you. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's move on to the Virgos. We'll be coming into your, your birthday soon. <clears throat> I got a lot of a lot of Virgos in my life. <laughs> uh, but let's see what's going on for Virgo this week. I know a lot of Leos and a lot of Virgos. So we have number 12 with truth. Right, I'll hold that up for you. So I feel like you're seeing something from a bigger picture here, Virgo. You're seeing the truth because you're, you're, you've taken a step back almost is what it feels like. What's going on for Virgo? We have the three of cups. We have the Lovers, we have the Hierophant, interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. <coughs> okay, so, yeah, like you've seen something from a higher picture or a higher perspective. Some of you are really um, wanting to connect like okay so if we go at this from a love perspective to start here it's like there's a sense of like seeing the truth of like maybe the type of connection that you're looking for with the lovers and the hierophant this can talk about like a higher like a definitely soulmate but it's like long-term commitment type of soulmate but you may also have a choice with the three of cups and the lovers. Like lovers is like a, a choice in love, right? What you will want to, what you would like to align yourself with, what feels good to align yourself with, what feels in alignment with you to align yourself with. And so I almost feel like you're, maybe some of you are realizing you want a committed relationship or you might be seeing who you want a committed relationship with. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Gemini, um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it's almost like, who who you want to set down like a set of roots with like who you want to grow and and evolve with from a relationship standpoint if it's not a relationship from like a love perspective it feels like there's this um again it's still about what what people or what things do you want to align yourself with that feel emotionally fulfilling for you but also bring a sense of stability foundation belief like a, a sense of like having a sense of um I want to say security but it's like a strong foundation like something that's rooted I keep getting so you could be seeing the truth of where what's meant for you and maybe what's not meant for you like in seeing what you do want you're realizing like oh this isn't serving me anymore or that person's not serving me or that person doesn't want the same thing so we're not on the same page so like I gotta let this go like there's almost like a it's like a, 
it feels like mentally you're prioritizing things even though we only have the, we have the lovers here but it's like it's like this goes in that box that goes in this box like there's two sides with the lovers here is what i'm getting and it's like logically because it's gemini energy <clears throat> It's like, you go over here and you go over here. You're in this part of my life, you're in that part of my life. You're, you're on this page, I'm on this page. So like, y like this person goes over here because they're, they're not going the direction I want. This person is going the direction I want. I want to go with them. Like, there's kind of this, this kind of, uh, yeah, like prioritization of people, like categorization almost meant more so. Um, yeah, categorization feels better than prioritizing because it's not like one's better than the other. You're just saying like, this is where I'm going. This is where I'm not. So it's like, who's with me? Who's not? And if it's not a who, it's like a what. So this could be a job. Like this is the direction I want to go in for a job or whatever, because it feels good to me. It feels like this is something that can provide me something long term, a sense of stability. I believe in it. It's my truth, right? Versus what's not. So you might have some changes, but this feels like, it almost feels like something is that you're processing internally versus like an external thing right now. Like you might not have physically started to take any action to make these changes. It's more of like a, <clears throat> you're viewing something from a bigger perspective right now. So this is like something that you're thinking about in the background that other people might not even know that you're you're thinking about you may have to set some boundaries i was getting to with this like page of swords seven of wands queen of cups like setting some boundaries because you want this ten of cups right so you needing to say like you know fi it's for you figuring this out page of swords like figuring out this truth seeing the truth and then realizing okay what's on the same page what's not and who who what you know what's my dream life so yeah i just feel like you're gonna be thinking a lot about that potentially this week um, and really like figuring out I think there's going to be people but I also think that there's going to be like situations for some of you as well that are like that so that's what I got for you Virgo let's move on here let's move on to Libra Libra, Libra, Libra. What do you guys need to know this week, Libra? We have past, present, and future, number four. So I'm getting you could be taking stock of your past, present, and future. We have the Eight of Cups, we have Strength, and we have the Hermit. <clears throat> Yeah, reflecting a lot. We have the King of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there's this, you're, you're definitely working on things, working on yourself, possibly with the, these energies coming out. Um, I feel like you've gained a sense of control over your emotions and like emotionally feeling stable and secure and like maybe you've evolved emotionally a little bit, like you feel like you've made progress emotionally where you feel like, yeah, I've, I'm not the same person I was, you know, a week, a month, two months, four months, whatever ago. Um, there's something like going from like Leo season into Virgo season. I feel like you're really taking stock, really evaluating. Some of you again are doing like so a lot of like personal work or like maybe you're working on your health or it's like, how can you make changes for your future? It feels like there's a sense of like, you've taken into consideration like your past, your present, <clears throat> and you're also thinking about your future where you're kind of like, okay, well, what do, I, what do I have to do? What do I have to work on? What qualities do I need to improve in my life to prog progress and move forward and like have a sense of like healing almost? Um, I think there's a I'm definitely getting healing so I don't know if like some of you are working on your literal body like you know whether that's working out or eating healthy or like could be also emotional healing 
spiritual healing with the hermit as well like just like there's like a, a sense of personal development in some cap capacity <clears throat> but it definitely could be physical for some of you is what i'm getting it doesn't have to be just like a spiritual healing like this could be i don't know trying to clear the acne on your face or something like that it could be something so basic like but you're you're focused on something but you're focused inward like all these people have their head down right the hermit definitely goes within the strength card is a within card the eight of pentacles is like he's so focused on the details like he's so fixated on getting something right i also feel too that there's a sense of you trying to like control or really again fixate your energy onto something some of you could be trying to distract yourself Yeah, I feel like there's like a direction that you want to kind of go in. We have this King of Cups, Two of Wands, the Moon, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. Like, emotionally, I feel like you want to move in a direction. You might not see it fully yet, though, with the Moon and the Two of Wands. Like, you might be kind of in this place of like, okay, I'm ready. But now what? <laughs> and I think that you, <clears throat> you're working on it, though. You're not like giving up on this, you know? Um, this is something that's like moving in a good direction so I feel like this is productive the only caution I would have is like don't get too fixated so some of you may have like fixed energy in your chart or like a lot heavy fixed energy so that would be um, Leo, Aquarius um, Taurus and Scorpio and we got Scorpio here with this King of Cups we have Leo here so some of you could specifically it could be those two and then we have this heavy Virgo energy. So, but we are going to be leaving Leo season soon and heading into Virgo season. So it could be a little bit of that. But I just feel like you're really focused on something. But it feels like you're trying to improve. And I'm noticing like these birds are kind of stacked on each other. So I feel like you're trying to continually improve something. Again, like a personal development type situation. But you're trying to like continually go, 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 improve. Get it better, get better, get better. So I like it because it, it feels <clears throat> productive. It feels like you're motivated. It feels like you're inspired to make some sort of change. And you're resisting temptations that would take you off course. Like some of you, it's like you're not allowing distractions to get the best of you. You're really kind of like hermiting and focusing on something and getting something done. And, and yeah. So it could be a project or something as well. But it, for some of you, it feels like it's more like personal development, like focus on self in some way, shape or form. The word procrastination is coming up, so I don't know if you're working on that or maybe you've been procrastinating on something and so that's why like you're having to focus so hard because you've already procrastinated, so now you have to get it done. Okay, that could be for some of you, so just take that how it resonates. But yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you, Libra. I just see you really like focused on your goals and I feel like I feel like you're gonna hit them. So that's what I have for you, Libra. Let's move on here to Scorpio. Let's see. What does Scorpio need to know for the week? <clears throat> we have teaching number 14. Reminds me of the Hierophant because it does break down to a five and the Hierophant is a five. And the Hierophant is a teacher, a guide. Um, let's see, I also feel like you're, um, something about roots here. I'm really picking up on this, like the roots down in, in the bottom of the, this card. So like you could be planting roots or maybe you're showing people, you're teaching people how to like set a foundation or you're getting into teaching of some sort. It doesn't have to be like a, a school teacher, but like, you know, it could be like a yoga teacher or something. It could be anything. Um, teaching people something, or maybe you're learning this, but it's like, uh, it's about roots, setting, setting strong foundation for something. Let's see, what's going on for Scorpio this week? It's the week of August 15th. Scorpio, Scorpio. <clears throat> Two of Swords, Queen of Swords. Interesting. 
and the Knight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. <coughs> I almost feel like there's a message here about like teaching or learning how to like um what's how do I word this it's going back to that like roots thing so it's like the stability the foundation like and the knight of wands is like the total opposite of that so I almost feel like this queen of swords whether this is you or someone else is saying hey there's a different way that you need to be doing this you can't keep being this knight of wands we have to set a foundation we have to hone our craft we have to focus on on what we're trying to achieve and i feel like there's a sense of this person helping like there's a sense of balance and st again stability is coming through a lot here okay so it feels like someone's helping you ground or you're helping someone else ground their energy there's like a sense of like <clears throat> and it's not coming across as like an ag and like anything aggressive it's it's like it feels more guidance but the queen of swords can be kind of like intense right and she can be pretty blunt and just say things like however she says them I feel like there's a sense of like you can't the two swords is giving me like you can't <laughs> I don't know why but it's like you can't keep doing this this way this is how you should do it so there could be someone like even like a mentor or something it's like someone who's trying to get somebody else back on track through helping them and guiding them but it's almost like I know better than you. I've been through this. I've, I've experienced this and you can't, th this energy isn't going to work. This in and out, inconsistent, flighty type of energy. You have to focus, right? Eight of Pentacles is about looking at the details. It's like you have to focus. You can't just fly by the seat of your pants. So I don't know if this is you saying this to someone or someone saying this to you, but it feels like there's a person who is of a... Uh, of a superior like sense like someone who again like would be like a mentor or someone who like knows because they've been through it could be a parent okay but there's like a teaching moment this week where it's like and this could even be to yourself you might have a realization where you're just like I can't keep doing this this way I have to make a change it's like your higher self is like you gotta step your shit up it's kind of what it feels like like there's something that you have to discern like there's something that you have to like kind of cut out some sort of impulsive behavior or like immature behavior or whatever it's like something that needs to change that you need to focus on the details and get things back into balance and maybe if you need help ask for help okay so this could be a self-realization because you're learning could also be again you helping someone else or someone helping you and like saying this to you so that's pretty much what I got for you Scorpio hopefully that resonates we are gonna move on to Sag <clears throat> let's see what Sagittarius needs to know for the week We have Ancient Wisdom, number 34, which breaks down to a seven. So I feel like there's like a calling or an, an intuition, something with regards to your intuition that's coming through. We have the star, we have strength. So Leo and Aquarius energy here, or Aquarius and Leo. Ooh, and we got the Empress, we got three majors. And then we have this four of wands. Okay, Sag, <laughs> um, we've got, you're being guided to follow a path. Your vibration's really good right now. Like I feel like you're in a really good space 
um, with these three majors. Um, but but also with three majors, like <coughs> you're being guided. Like to me, the major arcana, arcana, the major arcana are like you and spirit working together, like needing almost like an assistance or the the universe assisting you in some sort of way. The minors are uh, typically things we can kind of handle on our own without divine intervention. It's just like the path of life, right? Now, for some of you, it's like you're achieving something with the four of wands, or maybe you're like getting a home. There's something that's lining up for you that might seem like, wow, that just kind of like worked out for me. No, but it's because like spirit, ancestors, guides, universe, whatever is working with you. There's like a sense of also receptivity, like some of you have healed your feminine energy and this is allowing this opportunity or this success to come in here. Like this could be also something you're learning and healing currently and it will bring more harmony and success towards you. But there's this strong sense of like you're in this positive vibration or you, if you're not, you will be like, there's a sense of maturing and, and evolving, especially from like, a feminine essence <clears throat> strong internal like sense of like internal work but I feel like you're being guided to to something and again it could be this four of wands some of you have been like really with this um, it's like you've maybe been trying to like walk a certain path and like you've been feeling like you've been kind of stuck but you haven't given up on it it's like there's something where there's like a breakthrough it almost feels or the breakthroughs coming, like, it could have been around this full moon last week. We had the full moon in Aquarius, which was in Leo time, so the sun and the moon basically here would have been basically op like opposing each other, right? So I feel like there was a big growth like spiritually almost this is like almost something I feel like you can't see you might be able to feel it you probably can feel it obviously but if you tapped into it um <clears throat> some of you it's going to be more obvious than others but I feel like there's a big level up in your energy like you're now the empress you've evolved and so definitely I feel like potentially with this full moon that we had last week it's like now you're stepping into this like empress energy and I think you're manifesting something. It feels like you're about to receive something and I'm not sure what that is. It could be a home, it could be a relationship. Something that you would consider an achievement or a success in your life right now if it were to enter, like you would be so happy with it. You'd celebrate, you'd be excited about it. So I feel like there's something that's like tr being triggered here and it's an energetic thing I feel like it's like the vibration you're in the energy you're in is like healthy it's happy it's good and it's receptive and it's allowing things to come towards you and I, th I feel like it's allowing your your ancestors and your your spiritual team to kind of like work with you alongside you to manifest this for yourself so i i like that so if you're not in a high vibe definitely keep working on that maybe you maybe you saw that at the full moon that you needed to kind of work on that <clears throat> So we are going to move on. Let's move on to Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What is going on for Capricorn this week? April 5th, or April, oh my gosh, August 15th. Capricorn, let's see. We have duality, number 26. So seeing both sides of a situation, potentially. Also having like a balanced viewpoint, like not being on one side or the other, like kind of being neutral. Let's see. What does Capricorn need to know for this week? We the sun, we have the knight of swords. And the Nine of Cups. Hmm. 
Move the Eight of Wands. Something's coming in quick. Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. It's quick energy, fast moving energy. This could be a person as well. Like this could be like a, it definitely could be a person obviously, but I, I feel like there's something like, there's you and something or someone coming into union or like collaborating or there's like a, almost like a, a new thing. It feels new with the sun. New idea. It's exciting. It's like brings happiness definitely with the sun and the nine of swords or uh, the sun and the nine of cups. And it might happen quite quickly. Yeah, there could be communication, like an opportunity that comes in here. Okay, like something's communicated quite quickly. Now, for some of you, there could be an apology if there was an ending of some sort. Okay. Um, but it's like helping reharmonize something, like it's healing something, I feel. Um, because the duality card is making me feel like it's like the yin and the yang, obviously, right? We got the, the black and the white bird here. It reminds me of the yin and the yang. Um, <clears throat> just kind of taking a look at this card a little bit more. There's like getting on the same page because these birds are on the same branch. No, no one's higher than the other. So there's a sense of like, again, collaboration, getting on the same page, like being equals. So again, this could just be a partnership. It doesn't, it doesn't even really have to be love, honestly, because I'm not picking up strong love. It could be, but it feels like maybe an opportunity or like a, Something just moves quickly, but it's like because you and this person are on the same page, you and the situation are on the same, you want the same things, there's an equality, you feel balanced, you feel like it's a good opportunity because there is balance, there is harmony, there is this equality, you don't feel like you're beneath them and they don't feel like they're superior to you or vice versa, right? Like there's this sense of um, everybody working together. So this feels like it could be a good collaboration, a good relationship, a good partnership, like you know, whatever it is for you, Capricorn, it feels like whatever is moving forward this week is positive. And if it's not a relationship, this could be like the harmony within yourself. You're starting to feel really good. You're starting to feel harmonized, feel balanced. You're balancing the masculine and the feminine within yourself, which is bringing the sense of like alignment for you and happiness and self-fulfillment. And therefore it's allowing you to take action and move faster and forward towards things that are like in alignment with you. It's allowing you to, to move quickly. Rapid changes. And this might bring in an opportunity because like your vibe is high, right? Nine of cups and the sun here. It's like your vibration is on this higher level. And so it's, I think it's going to attract things to you. It's going to like, everyone's attracted to the sun, right? So it's like, you're going to be very attractive at this time. You might attract opportunities. Things might all of a sudden like pick up speed where everyone's trying to offer you something, right? Like, I just feel like there's this attractive quality and I think it's because you've found the balance, but I also feel like it's the right types of opportunities coming towards you. Now you still have to discern them and not everything's going to be like for you but it's like making sure that they have that balance and that there is that equality and then you can move forward with them, you know? So I like this energy because I feel like it's, it's a lot of progress. It's a lot of quick movement, but it's like not, it's like not, not productive. Like it's, it's not, I don't feel like it's impulsive, even though we have the Knight of Swords, it might be a quick idea or an, like an, it feels like it's off the cuff, like unexpected, random, wasn't planned. But I don't feel like that's a bad thing. I just feel like it's like you and this person or you and this situation like coming together because like it just works. It's just, it, it's happening. It's happening fast. It's like the door is wide open. It's not having to like force the door open. It's just happening. And definitely, I mean, the sun is, is masculine energy. So like you could be taking this action, like, but I feel like whatever action you're taking, it's just working because it's meant for you. It's meant like, I, heard, I had someone say like, if you're trying to, <clears throat> you know, build a business or you're trying to have a relationship. It's like the door should just be, it should just open. If it's meant for you, it'll just open. It won't be this, like, you won't have to force this person to like you, or you won't have to like force this collaboration to come together. You won't have to force this person to sit down and have a meeting, you know, like things will just happen 
when you're in alignment, things just open, happen. People offer things, suggest things. You offer things, suggest things. They say yes. Like it just starts to really unfold easily. When you're not in alignment, that's when you hit a lot of like resistance and blocks, right? Where it's like you might be going after the right things, but it might be the wrong person, right? So it's like it's complicated, but it's like one of those things you have to kind of feel through the situation. I feel like this is a situation where like the doors are just opening for you. So it feels really positive in that regard, Capricorn. So that is pretty much what I got for you. We are going to move on. So let's move on to Aquarius. We're going to see what does Aquarius need to know for the week. Ooh, we have sexual energy, <laughs> number 25. So this could also just be like passion, <clears throat> creativity. I also feel like, I don't, I don't know if that's supposed to be a horse, but it looks like a horse. Um, so I feel like you're maybe taking action towards something that you feel very passionate about. It's reminding me of like Knight of Wands energy. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius this week. What do they need to know? We have the Three of Swords. We have the Chariot. We have the Strength card. Hmm. Definitely there's that horse energy and moving forward. We have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So things are changing. I feel like you're coming out of this Three of Swords. I feel like you're gaining a sense of passion and excitement back into your life. Um, a, a sense of desire almost. Like, I don't know. I just feel like things are changing. You're you're in the driver's seat with that chair. You're making things happen. Um, there's a sense of control here, though, with the chariot and the strength. Some of you have maybe gone after things in the past that haven't worked out and now you're kind of like taming yourself a little bit with how you move through life. Maybe you're trying to be more open and receptive to like allowing things to happen with this Wheel of Fortune. Like Wheel of Fortune is destiny, right? The wheel's turning, allowing the wheel to turn, allowing destiny to, um, you know, do its thing. So maybe you're trying to not control things as much as maybe you have in the past and just allowing things to flow. I'm getting like a lot of flow off of that sexual energy ener um, card where it's like, again, like the creativity, the passion, it's like just following that rather than trying to control the situation. Again, I feel like things maybe haven't worked out in the past, but I feel like it's now time to move beyond that, move past that. I feel like you are moving past that. Some of you are moving in like a new direction. We got the Wheel of Fortune. We got the Five of Wands, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's like there's change here and it's bringing in new passion. There's like a new passion, new excitement <clears throat> that I feel like is, is, it's the time to step into your creative energy. I don't think, so don't tame your passion and your excitement for something, but I think it's almost like more so taming the sense of like needing control you don't have to control everything and I don't really feel like this three of swords is a problem in a way like I feel like this is something you've already overcome with the chariot right beside it. it feels like it's something you're moving out of versus something that you're currently in if you are in it I feel like this week you'll be moving out of it <clears throat> I think there's going to be something exciting that kind of boosts your energy a little bit some of you may want to retreat on it, but I feel like the goal is not to, like, don't suppress that feeling, follow it, see where it goes, but don't try to manage and micromanage and control the energy around it. Like, just let it be, let it, let yourself experience it. Because some of you could be trying to control a situation too much, and it's more about, like, letting things happen with that Wheel of Fortune, like, let the, let the cards fall where they may, you know, that type of energy. So I think this is like, there's excitement. There's something exciting moving or happening or there's a passion or something that you, f you feel creatively that you feel really drawn towards. I think that like, it could be a person too, but like, don't be afraid of getting hurt. Don't be afraid of this going wrong. Don't be, you know, don't be afraid of like, 
things not working out the way that you are so that therefore you have to micromanage like don't be worried about that kind of stuff just like let things happen naturally and unfold and follow your passion and just see where it takes you so yeah that's pretty much what i got for you aquarius follow your passion well let's see we're gonna move on so let's move on to pisces <clears throat> Pisces, Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. I feel like pulling these first. The, the Knight of Pentacles fell out, but... And then we have the World. Bottom of the deck with the Knight of Cups. A lot of court cards here. Um... Pisces. I feel like there's growth. We have masculine energy here, number 16. So that reminds me of like the sun, right? Obviously there's like the sun basically on that card. I feel like there's growth, there's evolution here. I almost feel like you're going from this Knight of Cups energy into this King of Cups, or you already have. There's like a sense of maturity and growth here. Yeah, like some of you have like evolved past a situation maybe with a fire sign that like you've you've I feel like you've worked on yourself you've um I don't know there's something about like almost like getting back out there even with that masculine energy right so about like taking action moving moving in a very passionate direction following your desires right um I feel like there's like I, I just feel like this is growth like the Knight of Pentacles is saying it's been a slow journey, potentially, if getting from the Knight to the King, but I feel like <clears throat> you've, been, you've evolved, and I feel like you're entering a new world. You're about to enter a new world, whether that means that you're starting something or you're just, things are changing for you on a frequency level where it's like you're ready for something bigger, ready for something better. Potentially emotionally as well, like maybe you're, maybe you're ready for a, a more stable relationship or you're ready to step into your creativity more, make something more serious. There's something about like growing up almost. And it doesn't matter how old you are. I just feel like with the masculine energy, it's like asking you to be a man. <laughs> and it doesn't mean like, to me, like that sense of like be a man is like grow up. You know what I mean? Like get out of your childish tendencies, right? You're not like a young boy anymore. Grow up into, you know, being mature and like taking responsibility and um, being conscious of your actions that you're taking, not just like impulsively taking actions, right? So I feel like there's, and it doesn't matter if you're male or female, I just feel like this is like you evolving and taking responsibility for yourself and your emotions. And then like, that's allowing you to open new doors with this world card feels like you're opening up new opportunities even with this knight of cups there's the fool behind it which the fool is the first major arcana it's number zero the world is the last one at 21 so i just feel like there's a new world that you're entering that you're moving into and some of you have completed you started at, at the fool and you moved to the world you've completed a big cycle a big phase in your life that has like evolved you some of you are finishing up your saturn return um so if your saturn is in aquarius your natal saturn um like in western astrology <clears throat> you're finishing up your saturn return so whether that means your saturn return happens roughly every every like 28 to 30 years so um you like saturn and aquarius for so you'd be like 28, well now, if you're finishing it up, you'd be like 30, 31, maybe 32 with Saturn and Aquarius. Um, and then if not, you'd be like 60s, okay? Like early, like early 60s, late 50s, early 60s, basically. So look at your astrology chart if your Saturn's in Aquarius and you're around those ages. You're probably finishing up your Saturn return. And Saturn is like the dad, right? Saturn is like, he teaches us lessons. It's harsh. 
and it's a two it's like a two and a half three year cycle right so it takes time and also Saturn rules time this card as well with the world card it makes me think of Saturn sometimes like it is a Saturn it's it reminds me of Capricorn right I think Saturn actually rules this card I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure it does so there's a sense of like <clears throat> It's taken time, a lot of lessons to get to you to this point. You've learned a lot. There's been a lot of like maybe restriction or feeling restricted in some way, but it's taught you a lot and you've matured a lot. And it's like, you're ready to enter this new phase, this new world, this like next level of your life. And I feel like it's because you've learned a lot of lessons. You've evolved and you've grown up again. It doesn't matter what, what age you are. Anytime we learn a lesson, we, you know, quote unquote, grow up. Right. And it's like, cause we're, you're evolving, you're growing, right? You're growing h higher and higher, taller and taller, right? So, yeah, I just feel like there's this strong sense of evolution almost to your energy where it's like you've evolved into this like new version of yourself and you're ready to step into this new world that's going to look, I think, a lot different. But now you know how to like assert yourself. There's a sense of strength to you. And like n you've learned so much that like nothing can really mess you or throw you off. Like... No one can, nothing can mess you up. No, no one, right? Like, <clears throat> you know who you are. There's a sense of, like, independence and strength. So you've really healed the masculine energy within you. It's not really giving me anything with, like, feminine. I feel like the, f the feminine, though, is good, too, because, like, the knight of, or sorry, the king of cups is, like, it's water as well, like, which is feminine energy. So it's, like, you've, you've mastered the, the duality, and and you're in this place because you've healed the masculine. It's like you you're, you've healed this protective aspect of yourself and your own emotions and your own feminine energy. You're able to stand up for yourself. So some of you could have really evolved when it comes to like boundaries and asserting yourself and speaking your truth and speaking up for yourself um, and defending yourself. Right. So interesting message, but I feel like this is just confirming that you're on the right path and that you're about to enter this like new phase, this new world. And as Saturn kind of like, Saturn's retrograde right now, and it will be going back direct. And so it has to still kind of go through Aquarius. I think it goes into Pisces next, early next year, like within the first like three months, I think. Um, so Saturn will move on to Pisces. So yeah, I just feel like there's a strong growth here that's really positive and it just say, it's just, it's just t no, letting you know that you're on the right path. So that is what I've got for you, Pisces. And that is what I have for the weekly read. So hopefully that resonates uh, for you guys. Again, you guys can check out your sun, your moon, your rising sign. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I will be posting the mid-monthly reads uh, this week sometime, like kind of starting doing that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> keep an eye out for those. But um, I will see you guys in the next reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.